What's up guys, Cobalt here, and today I want to be showing you cool things that you can do with your Windows PC. Um, these are all free things that you can do and most of them are already included on your PC. So let's go ahead and get started. The first tr thing I want to show you is how to make the matrix falling code effect on your PC. So the first thing you want to do is you want to right click here, go to new and then go to text document you can just leave it as the as the way it is or you can rename it as whatever you want then what you want to do is you want to head over to this link in the description and find where it shows this where it says make your key not that here where it says matrix code falling up effect and you just want to go ahead and copy this right click copy head over to notepad and paste and then you can save that once you've done that you go head over to files save as and you make sure this says all files then you double then you click until you can edit it and you change the last the file extension to dot bat wait a Change that to all files. And then dot bat. I just didn't see this, but as soon as you do that, it automatically cre creates another file on your desktop. And then once you click that, it'll show you the falling code effect. The next thing I want to show you is some useful keyboard shortcuts for all Windows computers and this is going to be an easy one. When If you click the Windows key plus D, it will automatically show the desktop. So let me just do that again. Windows key plus D, desktop. Control, shift and escape will automatically start your task manager. So let me do that again. Control, shift, escape. That'll start up the task manager. Control and click. This is useful for opening up a link in the background. So let's say if I just Google something random. And then uh, you see this. If I control click, it's automatically opening up those links in the background. As you can see right there. The next one is Alt plus print screen. And that will take a screenshot of the current active window instead of the whole thing so if I was in Chrome and I clicked alt alt plus print screen and then head over to word and paste that then you can see that it did not include any of this start over here and it only included the the Google Chrome for a comparison I'm gonna click print screen again and paste that again in here and you can see that now the task manager at the bottom and the taskbar with the Windows button and all of that down there is included and in this one it's not it just takes care of the window the next one is shift click and this will just do yes and no to all if you have a lot of dialog boxes then th this will just do yes and no to all I don't know where to show you an example how about we go I don't really know where to do that but it does work I've tested it in the past I just don't see okay yeah I think I just found an example click X and if I shift click you see it did that all on its own it just carried on clicking the next one I want to show you is control T which opens a new tab in internet browser so if I click control T you see it opened a brand if I, even if I spam it you can see a bunch of new tabs are opening and that's just a mess now 
So the next thing I want to show you is actually quite cool and it is to make your your notepad speak so all you need to do is you need to copy and paste this command right here and once again I'll give you this link in the description and then you go to new you head over to text document and copy and paste that save not that go to save save as and instead of txt you're gonna do vbs vbs and if you save that you'll see this that's not the wrong one here it is here and all you need to do is you type in what you wanted to say so let's say that hello and as you let me show you that again this is a test it's works i told you all right for the last but certainly not least thing i want to show you you're going to need to go into cmd and to do that you just type in cmd and then click enter then you type in shut down then a space then dash s space dash t five thousand space dash c then you type in your reason for shutting down oh did i tell you by the way that what i'm doing is basically giving your your computer a reason to shut down and um, there it is right there you have to type in everything correctly and then there you see you're about to be signed out i'm tired it's pretty cool and if you try and do this again straight afterwards it'll tell you that um, you've already scheduled a, a shutdown so you can't shut down again you can't do that again so to clear all of your scheduled shutdowns you just type in shutdown then a space then a dash then a you click enter and then you see that it says log off is cancelled which is pretty cool if you did enjoy the video I'd really appreciate it if you left a like comment and subscribe